Hey, hey, Lori here with Interior Jewels. Here's one of the great pieces that I got while thrifting. You'll see I showed that price tag. What a deal. If you haven't followed me on my Tuesday thriftings on, on Tuesdays on my Facebook page, please follow. This was a great piece that I found. I guess you would call it a candelabra. I always say don't pass up a piece because of the finish. They're very easy to transform with paint if you wanted to. I happen to like this, so I'm keeping it. I wanted to build on it and put a floral piece on top. So here I'm using a pool noodle. I cut two slices off the pool noodle and then cut a slit in it to put it around that center piece. And because of it, the way that it is situated, I cut two separate pieces rather than just one. I needed a little bit more surface space in order to add my florals to. Now I'm just going to take some green moss and put some glue on some U-pins here, which are not actually U-pins, by the way. I always save the stems of the floral bushes after I use the blooms and I bend those into U-shapes to use as picks. They're the perfect item to use to attach moss like this. I'm not looking for perfect coverage. I just want to camouflage that pool noodle. And the pool noodle is green, which is nice because it does sort of blend with the color of that moss. Again, camouflaging. Here you'll see I'm cutting one of those stems to make into a U-pen. Very easy to insert. So now that I have that covered, I have, I'm making this a monochromatic piece. I have those white pooms, which sort of gave me the boho feel. I'm thinking this entire piece is going to have a boho farmhouse, rustic, elegant feel if that's possible, all in one piece. <laughs> These pooms sort of gave me that boho vibe. I love the color of them. That cream I think is classic. This will go in any room in a house, any decor. This would be great on a dining table. This could be great on a large kitchen island. This could be great on a long vanity in a bathroom or a dressing room. Um, so again, I wanted to keep it monochromatic. These are sort of an upright um, shape to these. So I'm inserting that entire bush in the center and that is determining my height. Then I have this bush of greenery that I am cutting all the stems off. These happen to be pushers, which means I can push all of that greenery up to the end of the stem. And because they are wired stems, I can bend them in any direction or shape that I want. I really wanted it to drape over the sides. I realized I wasn't using my Lazy Susan, which is important, especially for a design like this, which is a 360 design, meaning it will be seen from all sides. Um, so you wanna keep turning it to make sure that you are creating balance and that you don't have any bare spots. But you can see with this greenery how it just gracefully um, cascades down. It gives it a softness. This is more typical of the designs that I like to create. More wispy, flowing, um, makes me think how things would grow more in nature as opposed to a very compact, formal, design. I like it to be a little bit more wispy. I purposely left the glass votives in while I was working on this so as I wouldn't completely cover them. I do want to put candles in there and of course they will be battery operated candles. Here I'm using a different bush of greenery which has a different color greenery on it and also those cream color um spiky things. Again, I don't know what they're called, but I was staying within that cream color. So the entire piece will be creams and greens. 
but this greenery had more of an upright growing. So I am inserting that between the pooms on top. And this is basically determining the height of the piece. Again, I wanted it to be fairly substantial so that this would look very pretty on a dining table as I'm trying to put the camera up a little bit here so you can see the entire height of it. I forgot to measure it to see um, the height of the final product. The piece on the bottom is about 13 inches wide in diameter. So it is a nice size piece. Again, I'm adding those greenery in between the pooms all on top. You can see how it's really starting to fill in. I keep turning it to make sure that there are no bare spaces. I pretty much have that bush in now. And I'm going to go back to that original greenery and start adding a little bit more greenery on top between those pooms. Again, to give that softness with those soft leaves just gracefully falling down. Here's the one that drapes. And you could do this in any color. Um, this would be a completely different look if it was multiple color florals or even a solid color like a red or a yellow or an orange would all be beautiful. And as you keep adding them, you'll see it just starts to fill in and come to life. Again, this was one of my thrift finds that I love looking for these unique pieces and creating those one-of-a-kind pieces that you're just not going to go out in the store and find. See, now you can see the top. It's filled in beautifully. Now I've decided I want to add some fern leaves as well. Again, sticking with that monochromatic design with greens, the fern is a different color green, which adds interest. And it adds, again, another softness. And because they are on wired stems, I can bend them any which way I like. Again, I think it adds another graceful layer to this piece. Look at how pretty that looks. Especially when you're doing a monochromatic design that you're not adding a lot of color in. When you're using greens like this, you want to make sure that you have different shades, different size leaves, different textures, now I'm going in with a little bit of ivy. I'm adding that to the bottom over that moss colored, uh, covered pool noodle. Ivy is a great way to fill in bare spots with just one, uh, two or three leaves on a piece of ivy really covers a lot of space. But I'm loving the way that this is turning out. Wouldn't this be gorgeous as a dining table centerpiece? Especially when that candlelight gets in there. And I'm happy that I chose not to paint this. And here we go. A few more <laughs> fern leaves I decided to add. Sometimes that's one of my issues in working on a piece like this. I'll continue to add and add. <laughs> and sometimes I just need to stop myself and say, okay, we're good here. I achieved the look that I was going for. See how those fern leaves sort of gracefully bend down? It does add a softness. I like my designs to be full and lush. And I think with this, we have achieved that. I'm turning it to make sure 
that there's no bare spots. And here's the finished product on a table with candlelight. Isn't she so pretty? Please be sure to subscribe to my page and give this a thumbs up so I can continue more projects like this. Enjoy.